Don't risk it, do you? There's something sort of floating in it, isn't there? Yeah. It's curdled. Ooh. Should I check the best before day on it? What we got this week? We're talking mountain bike superheroes, hacks and bodges. And of course, we've got some great tech coming up. We've got Pin the Trail and all the other usual dirt shed show paraphernalia. So don't go anywhere. Julian Absalon, the two-time Olympic cross-country champion, has announced his retirement oh. after Rio next year. Oh, it hurts. So he's trying to make it three, but he's battled with Nino all year and come out second to, world, to him at World yeah, Champs it, and World it, Cup. It wasn't a good year for him this year in terms of confidence going oh. into his final year of racing because he did get kind of done by Nino in the end. Yeah. But it would be amazing. He sort of feels like the rider that deserves to go out on an Olympic gold. You know, I guess, I don't know this, but oh. is Nino going to target that race as well? I'm guessing he probably is. Uh, well, I think Absalon's got to be a hot favourite now, knowing how important that race is and what happened in London where he was basically going to win it and got a puncture, which can be kind of annoying in the Olympics when you get a puncture. <laughs> but he was crossed that day. Um, yeah, he's got to be a hot favourite for oh, it. He's getting old. Is Nino that good? Can Nino beat a just about re to retire Julian Absalon? I don't know. Yeah. Good luck. Guys, let us know what you think, the viewers. Leave us a comment down below. Who do you think is going to win? So, Neil, you've done a bit of mountain biking, I've done a bit, bit of racing done a bit. in the past. You remember when you used to race back in the dark old ages? Yeah. Where you used to cross a laser beam at the start of the downhill run. Yeah. A laser beam. Sundial when I started. <laughs> and then you'd go down, you'd cross another one at the bottom, and that would be your time. Yep. Well, have you heard of this new Action Sports Timing online app? is pretty cool it's timing you all the time bit like strava yeah. using gps yeah it's all changed british downhill series said they're going to use it you have a transponder on your bike sends all your time directly to your phone so you can ride practice saturday try different things on your bike check your time immediately everyone at home can see this online as well so it's pretty cool wow well, the family can follow your racing it's the future it's amazing mystery rider competition time someone's about to win one of these. Now here's last week's photo. Can you guess it? Did you try? Got loads of entries. So come on, Neil. Let's pick a winner. All right, here we go. Go for it. Correct answer is a specialised stump jumper. And the winner is, oops, I ripped it, Greg Bradshaw, who says, Bradshaw. I drooled over this bike in the 90s. Well done, Greg. Send us in your details and you have won a GMBN bottle. Now, I did hear in this competition, Neil, last week that there was a few stunt jumpers. Ooh, I think there's a few people copying and pasting the wrong answer. Oh, that's not the way to win. Well done, Greg. Now, let's have a look at this week's competition. I think this is blooming hard. Yeah. I don't think anyone's going to get this. This is the rollover week. Back this to the is mystery when rider. This is when it's going to happen. Rollover mystery rider. I'm betting on it. Here's the photo. Uh, I think that's a toughie. It's hard, isn't it? I know it's hard. it is. You need inside knowledge on that one, I reckon. Anyway, good luck in the comments below. Don't copy and paste. So we've got another mountain bike race that builds itself as the world's toughest race. Another one. Yep. Looks pretty hard to be fair. Yeah, cool. I, I've got the name. You got it. Yeah, it is the La Ruta, La Ruta yeah. del Los de Quant Quantas <laughs> Conquestadors. That's it. <laughs> I can't say it. The Conquestadors. It's a race, Costa Rica, three days from the Pacific Ocean to the Caribbean. That sounds like a long way. It is a long way. It's yes. over an average of 85 kilometers a day. Oh. That's not the really hard bit. It's one day is 4,200 meters of climbing and it's in over 35 degree heat. Remind me again why I'm going to do this race? Because uh, it's in a pretty smart place. Wow, it looks good. I saw actually a post on Hannah Barnes's Instagram, which is a great mountain bike Instagram actually, um, and she did that race. She got second, right? Yeah. So she had a really good result in it. Um, on those stage races, what do you do in the evening? Like, what, what happens? Like, if you got to the finish line, or are you just somewhere out in the wilderness? Most of those, you actually camp, but so you lie on your back in a tent and don't get any sleep because it's too hot and there's insects everywhere. <laughs> Sounds brilliant. One of the best comments uh, this week's from Mr. Willwood, who's picked up, I don't know if you've noticed it, Neil, but in one of the videos, just one of them, Mark May 
have used his hands in quite a big gestury way. And but what isn't obvious to the viewers is yes. it's actually really hard to talk to camera without doing anything with your hands. You're right. <laughs> it really is. And I don't think it's fair to pick up on Mark on that because I tend to find it really handy. Now, Ride for Jersey has sent in a comment as well. Uh, he's saying you boys need a little bit of work on your berms. He's taking the mickey out of us for almost well, falling off. Well, yeah, let's have a look. Oh, look, he's coming into the berm. Well done. Oh, oh, that's a horror show. It's not impressive, is it? Sorry. A bit more tech here, Neil. I absolutely love this. It's over on Kickstarter. Um, company called Sus My Bike, trying to crowdfund the budget to make this new product happen. I absolutely love it. I'm going to pledge right now. And while I do, Neil's going to tell you what it is. Cool. So it's a really small, clever little telemetry box that you can stick to your fork or shock, little electronic device, and that connects to your smartphone and it will tell you what your suspension is doing, but actually really importantly, how you can improve it. So it'll actually tell you you might need more rebound, compression, damping, whatever it is. Uh, how much you're using, um, so it's a pretty cool little thing this. Woohoo! I have pledged they are £10 closer to their goal mm. of 20000 They're close, Neil. Yeah. They're close. It is, a wicked, it is a wicked little device. It's very, very clever. I'd like to see it in action. Good luck, guys. Hope you make it. Shout outs! <laughs> that was weird. That was pretty weird. Shout outs. Yeah. This week's shout outs, my first one is Nino Scherzer's Hunt for Glory Episode 8. So it's a really cool one because all these uh, riders who have booked in for this training camp with Nino Scherter and it's basically following him over the weekend, taking these guys out for a ride. Wicked video, you get to see Nino, a bit behind the scenes, what he's like in preparation to taking on Absalon at the 2016 mm. Games. Liked it, good video, it's worth checking out. The link is in the description. What you got, Neil? This, I absolutely love it. I know you don't really get it, Martin. I didn't get it. I, I love it. it. This is from Kotick. It's called The Rise of Straight Line. And it's a mountain bike villain called Straight Line. Obviously. Straight Line's all the tracks, ruins the tracks. But who do you need to sort him out? You need Rocket Man. Rocket Man, don't you? Rocket Obviously, Man. you need Rocket Man. It's a comic series I've missed, um, but I did like it. It was really well made. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, good trailer. Felt like there was a whole movie coming. Oh, it's proper cinematic, isn't it's it? It's definitely cool. worth checking Check out. Check it out. Of course, the link's in the description. Yeah. Um, yeah, enjoy. Shout outs, done. <laughs> pin the trail. This week's pins were absolutely brilliant. And the first one is from Tiago Fernandez in Northern Portugal, Neil. And it's the Terras de Boro Enduro. He's actually on an Enduro stage. Um, we see him right from the start, it looks really spectacular, doesn't it, up on this really yeah. amazing mountain. Loads of rocky turns with almost bolder wall rides, absolutely love it. And I've got it on camera just here, because I've got to show Neil this section. It's quite a long clip, isn't it? Yeah, it You just amazing, said it made it? you feel like you want to go racing, it's so good, you've got to check this video out. Looks like Tiago, he's in the middle of a race. But check this, this bit out, he's catching this guy, yeah. and he's, <laughs> he's like, get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, I'm passing, but watch now, look. He's like, yes, I'm passed, here we go, off we go, look, look. Uh, oh, <laughs> Gone the wrong way. Oh, Tiago. And now the guy's gone back past. <laughs> awesome, trying to catch his breath. Oh, he's got to catch him again now. Oh, he's in the tree. <laughs> it's all going wrong. Oh, man, comedy of errors, Tiago, there, but it's a brilliant trail, you've got to check it out. Um, and we, you're going to put the links in the description, yeah. Neil, yeah? So you can check out this week's pins in our description. It's going in the map, Northern Portugal. That's a good one. That's a pin, that's a uh, pin the trail favourite, that one, Tiago. You've done very well. Second trail this week is from Matt Crompton, who's in San Moritz on a flow trail. It's the Corrigio, Corriglia flow, flow trail. Look awesome at, views on this trail, oh, aren't they, Mark? Awesome views. I don't think he pedals more than twice. Yeah on a, let me just tell you, a 12 minute run. Absolutely amazing mountain views. There's a lake down in the background that you can see him slowly creeping his way towards. Oh, it made me want to go there. It so the Alps so is getting very busy, Martin. Where do we want to see our pins in different places? Well, I want pins the quality of Matt Crompton San Moritz ride, but I'd like somewhere like, oh, I'm going to go with Madagascar. That would be a good one. I'd like a trail in Madagascar. Hashtag pin the trail Madagascar. I want to see one from the Philippines. I know we get loads of viewers in the Philippines, so 
send us your pin the trails and send them to dirtshed at globalmountainbikenetwork.com. Pin it! Switch back, new part of the show, where we take a look back at something you might have missed in the past, a GMBM video, and this week is fat bikes. Are they fun? Neil here, yep. absolutely railing it on a fat bike. Looked amazing fun. Well, it was a lot of fun, and actually it's crazy, that video's done over 300,000 views now, yeah, so there's a lot of closet fat bikers out there, I think. Yeah, someone out there likes them, someone out there, a lot of you. If I'm, I'm coming out now, I'm coming out, I like fat bikes. And they are they fun. Cool. Any of you out there remind you of Mint Sauce's bike back in the mountain bike days? Anyone remember that? Anyone? Is that just me? Coming up on the channel this week. Tomorrow is a pro bike check on my cross country bike. And Monday is how to fit a dropper seat post. On Tuesday, we've got top 10 pro bike hacks. And then on Wednesday, it's how to ride drop offs. That'd be a good one. Thursday is Ask the Don. <laughs> this is it. Friday, Neil. Friday, yeah. it's, go on, go on, give it some, go on, this is, guys, it's Friday, it's the dirt shit show, oh, <laughs> oh God, just get it, just get it sorted. did you see how he did it, did you see how he did oh. it, oh, <laughs> Neil, actually, Tuesday, top 10 pro bike hacks, that sounds like a good video, yeah, it's really cool, it's where the pros just tweak their bikes a little bit to make them even better, Oh, nice, nice. Go on, go on. So, we're thinking. we're thinking, guys. You viewers out there, it's got an idea. Send us in your best hacks and bodges, things you've had to do to your bike to get yourself home, or how you've improved your bike. Yeah, you can send them in to dirtshed at globalmountainbikenetwork.com, or maybe just tag us in on a social media post. We'd love to see your bodges yeah. and your hacks. Hacks and bodges. What's the difference? Hack makes it better. Bodge fixes it. I can't believe you knew the difference. Whoa, that was a good show. I enjoyed that. If you want to see the stunt jumper in action up against its modern day rival, then click up there. And if you want to see more of Mark Beaumont's hand gestures, click down there for how to choose your mountain bike for the discipline you like to ride your bike on. Yeah, yeah, and, and thumb up, thumb up like. like. Yeah, if you've enjoyed the Dirt Shed show. Yeah, and obviously leave us your comments down below. Nice one. I love that show. It was good. I miss Mark though. Yeah. I wonder where he is. Must be over there. Must be that way. <laughs>